Namaste, I'm Archana. Thank you for joining me for day one of Make Yoga a Daily Habit. Today we're going to be working on asanas which is going to help move our whole body but we're going to be doing this with a lot of awareness towards our breath. So let's begin by coming into a comfortable seated position. In case your back is rounding, you can or your knees are way up here, you can always grab a towel, a rolled up a towel or a cushion, place it beneath your seat. And try and sit tall, keeping your back straight. Your palms are in receiving position, resting on your thighs or knees. Chin is parallel to the earth. Your nose pointing straight ahead. Close your eyes. Now as you breathe in, just notice the air entering your nostril. And as you breathe out, notice the air coming out of your nostril. On your next breath, we're going to bring our right hand onto our abdomen, left to your chest. Just keep breathing in and out, noticing the movement happening beneath your palms. As you breathe in, notice if your belly is moving towards your palms or it is moving away from it. So you're not trying to change anything, you're just being aware. On your next breath, try and push your belly into your palm and as you breathe out, pull your navel back towards your spine. Once more. And breathe out completely. You can continue to keep your eyes closed if you're comfortable. Drop your palms onto your thighs. Drop your chin in the direction of your chest. As you breathe in, bring your gaze forward and as you breathe out, drop your chin back towards your chest. We're going to do three of this. This is just like you nodding to say yes. Breathe in, gaze is forward, breathe out. Two more. This time, as you drop your chin in the direction of your chest, notice how you feel in the back of your neck. Slowly look forward. Now try and look towards your right shoulder and towards your left. Again, if you want to, breathe in, look towards your right. And as you breathe out, look towards your left. And don't worry too much if you can't, you know, coordinate your breath with your movement. You're just uh, becoming aware. One last time towards your left. And come back to center. Now as you breathe in, you're going to reach both our hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Fingertips are in the direction of the ceiling. You can drop your head back, either look at the ceiling and if this is not comfortable, look at a point where the wall meets the ceiling. Now as you breathe out, you're going to turn and twist towards the right side of the room. Take one more breath in. Keep that length in your spine. And as you breathe out, stay in the position, just relax the muscles around your waist, your belly. We are in Parivritta Sukhasana. Breathe in again, reach your hands up. Again, drop your head back. Breathe out, twist to the other side. Nice, long, deep breath in. and breathe out let me get this off here now we're going to breathe in again reach your hands up this time pull your navel in as you breathe out fold forward 
palms onto the floor or the mat in front of you drop your forehead if this doesn't uh, is not comfortable you can bring your elbows to rest on the floor in front drop your chin in the direction of your chest as you breathe in bringing your awareness to your lower back or noticing the areas that you notice uh, you feel the stretch in <laughs> breathe in and breathe out press your palms onto the mat walk your hands back nice and slow swing your legs to one side and come on to table top your knees below your hip your toes behind your heels here we're going to go do a marjari asana and bhitalasana cat and cow if you have any um, if you're not comfortable staying on your knees you can again place a nice mat or um, a towel here in my case place your knees your wrist is beneath your shoulder now as you breathe in push your seat up towards the ceiling gaze forward chin forward chest forward and as you breathe out to pull your navel in chin to chest around your back we're going to do this once again this time inhale just pull your navel slightly in gaze forward breathe out marjari asana press your palms into the mat your knees into the mat in one last time and breathe out here i want to press my toes into the mat lift my knees off if you have a towel move it away arms in line with your ear your feet is hip width apart i'm going to bend my right knee straighten my left and see how close i can bring my heel to the mat for some of you you may be able to drop it all the way alternate stretch the other leg bend your knee we're going to do this a couple of times breathing in breathing out now drop both your feet if possible onto the mat if your heels are up it's totally okay eventually you can bring it down with practice now walk your palms towards your feet bend your knees deeply here and then with your right hold your left elbow left hold your right elbow we're going to be swaying towards your right and left we're going to shift our weight completely on all the four corners of your, your our feet depending on which side we move letting a whole body collapse swing right to left a couple of times drop your hands down to the mat inhale half way lift ardha hasta utasana you can here like the number 7 you can keep your back straight if this is hard you can always voice come up here trying to keep your back straight we're hinging at our hip now breathe out full forward knees are bent once again let's go breathe in half way lift see where you are comfortable pushing our seat back the crown of the head towards the opposite side of the room but the legs are straight you don't have to lock your knees like keep your knees soft one last time drop down inhale slowly come up this time i'm going to go completely down deep bend in my knee widen my knee nice space you know so that my belly can rest in the crown of the head in the direction of the mat you're looking at the space between your legs now as i breathe in i'm going to come all the way up towards ceiling and as i breathe out i'm going to come down here breath in press 
all the four corners of my feet into the mat. Inhale up. Exhale. Down. Now I'm going to sway side to side. If you're just moving right to left, if your feet are close, you want to keep it wider, please free, free to do that. They should feel comfortable. It's a very simple movement. Two more on each side. And one. This again works on all the organs in your abdominal region. Now from here, I'm going to breathe in again. Reach my hands up towards the ceiling. Press my fingertips towards the ceiling. Bring my feet about shoulder uh, hip width apart. From here, I'm going to bend to my right side. Breathing in. Nice expansion along the left side of your body. And as I breathe out, try to bring my right fingertips towards the mat. Nice compression here. Breathe in. As I breathe out, staying in this position, relaxing my whole body. Breath in. Bring both your hands up, back towards the ceiling. And we're going to bend to the other side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, slowly come up. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Now from here, I'm going to fold forward. Padahastasana. Stay here. Deep breath in. Once again. As I breathe out, I'm going to bring my belly towards my thigh. You can also bend your knees here. The whole intention here is to bring your belly towards your thigh. Two and one. Now slowly drop your knees to the mat. Swing your legs to one side. Here. You can either keep your feet, heels away from your hip or bring it as close. The closer you come, uh, you, uh, the more intense is the asana. Place your hands onto your knees. I'm just doing a variation on the both pose on Aukasana. From here, just place your, you're not holding and pulling onto your knees, just place your palms. Navel is pulled in, back is straight, straighten and if you Touch your abdomen. Already your abdominal muscles are engaged. Breath in. Breathe out. If you want to just release one hand and the other. Notice how you feel. Drop it back if you want to. You need to uh, experiment with how that feels for you. Deep breath in. There should be no back pain here no sharp shooting pain of any kind when we're doing the practice drop your hands down i just need to move ahead now come down to lying bring your knees towards your chest you can just rock side to side in power muktasana just massaging your lower back Taking long, deep breaths. Noticing all the sensations that you're feeling in your body. Any thoughts that are coming to your mind. Now from here, we're going to come to lie onto our side. For the first one, we're lying on the right side. Stretch your arms in front of you. Place them here. Bringing your knees as high as you can. Now slowly move your left hand all the way to the other side like the letter T trying to press the left shoulder into the mat Parivartanasana breathe in as you breathe out completely collapse 
into the mat, into the pose. Now slowly bring your feet onto the mat, move your hips to center. This time I'm going to turn all the way to the other side of the room, your left side, bring your knees towards your chest, same thing, breathe in and twist. Here you can keep your nose pointing towards the ceiling or also go ahead and look at your right arm. Breathe in and breathe out. Place your feet onto the mat, turn over, open your legs wide. Arms can stay here or you can bring it next to you. Close your eyes. Stay here as long as you want to. I hope you enjoyed doing this practice with me. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Please share this with your family and friends so that they can also join us in this journey. I will see you tomorrow for day two of Atomic Yoga, A Daily Habit. Namaste.